Hey everybody, Collector Kel coming to you guys with another exciting Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle video. So in this episode, we are using a special Sun kind of based team. <clears throat> now you're probably wondering why like we don't have Torkoal or anything, but that's because I want to use a specific Pokemon to do it, and I'm hoping it does well. So, <clears throat> pardon my throat, it's all messed up today for whatever reason, and I have to still record a bunch of videos for the rest of the weekend and week. But we have good hair day with choice specs. It is the Fluttermane, and it is Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Mystical Fire, Power Gem, Max Special Attack and Speed. This thing's gonna hit like a train. We have Hot and Spicy with the Heat Rock, our little school villain. And he is Spicy Extract, Overheat, Sunny Day, and Seed Bomb. Yeah, he's a mixed attacker. But he's primarily here to get up the sun, and then that's it. We have Razor Fern with Chlorophyll to take, you know, use of that Sun with Life Orb. Uh, Terra Blast, Leaf Blade, X Scissor, Sword Stance, and it is, I believe, it's normal type, so that'll be a normal Terra Blast. But it can kind of help us get away if, like, we're weak to a certain typing. We have Yamaha the Cyclozar with Focus Sash. He's going to be uh, setting up Shift Gear with Dragon Claw, Terra Blast, and U Turn, and I do believe he is Ghost type, yes, so we can hit Ghost. We have Leftovers. Plasma Ball, the Belly Bolt, with Thunder, Weather Ball, Reflect, Electric Terrain. Kind of just here. He's going to hit hard with Thunder, essentially, or he's going to hit a nice Fire-type Weather Ball. Or if they set up their own Weather, maybe we could do something with that. And then we have Google Gut, our Claude Sire, Black Sludge, Unaware, Earthquake, Poison Jab, Protect, and Toxic. Literally just to stall the uh, enemy. We're, not, we're never going to... Uh, terrestrialize this Pokemon simply because of grass type. Anyways, without further ado, I will find a battle and I will meet you guys there. Alright, so we found a battle against David, who has a Glamora, Cyclozar, Dragonite, Iron Moth, Low Kicks, and Azumarill. This is actually the most unique team I have ever physically seen here. Now, he's gonna lead off with Glamora. Then I'm going to lead off with Hot and Spicy, because he'll probably lead off with a Pokemon that sets stuff up. Now, if he's going to turn into an offensive Pokemon like I did, then we might be screwed. But I do have special attackers to deal with Glamora, because remember, Glamora cannot set up Toxic Spikes unless it is hit by a physical move. So if we can avoid hitting it with a physical move... Whoa! What the heck did he take a picture of to do that? That looks really cool. Also, I've never seen the headband before. Oh, it's Shiny Glamora! I've actually been looking for one of those. They're actually a really cool shiny. They look like they're back, if you're wondering. Oh, it did, it did go for Stealth Rock. Excellent. Right, now I can just go for the Sunny Day. Rightio then, man. And now we can switch out, hopefully. Um... Can you do anything? You're weak to it, though. Um, this is gonna be- I'm gonna have to let this thing die. This thing just has to straight up die. Over here, go! There we go. Yeah, kill me off, I don't care. Just, just get rid of me. Excellent, that's what I was hoping for. We got this, we got this. And we have Google Gut that'll get rid of the other step. Oh, I just thought of something, though. We're gonna be boosted because of this. There we go, good hair day. Go, activate Protosynthesis. Yeah, ha ha. Oh, I'm faster. And I'm choice specs, so that's good. Did they have a normal? They did have a normal type, though. I am fairy type, so... I'm gonna do this, just in case he switches into Cyclozar, which I guess he's not. Oh well. But we're gonna nuke something. There's nothing they're gonna do to our little buddy here. I love how it still is Mischievous' cry though, as if it was a Mischievous all along. I'm not going down to a Glamora like my Glamora was Wrecking House last time. And that thing didn't get up a single Toxic Spikes. I wonder if he's gonna have a full shiny team. I did find some more shiny Pokemon. I did find a shiny Makuhita and a shiny Deerling, which I did train the Deerling up because it's gonna be for a Christmas team. I just happened to be walking by on the way to a raid 
and seen this pink flower deerling, and I'm like, wait a minute, these other ones have yellow. Eh, Sawsbuck shiny in this is a little lackluster, though, because of um, what they did to it. Like, it doesn't look as good. Also, my computer's trying to tell me to update. Iron Moth. That thing is poison type. Oh, it's the shiny variant. He is all shiny. I don't really want to switch out. I'm just going to have to try and nuke it with the Moonblast, see how much this does. I know it's not very effective, but I don't have a safe swap into this thing. Whoa, that did nothing. Why did that do nothing? I wonder if that thing's bulky. It's fire. Oh, wait, it was fire poison. Duh. Fire resist fairy. Jesus, man. Fire poison, though. That's... Oh, that ruins his thing, though. I do have Google Gut. Google Gut can deal with this. Right, little buddy? Anyways, uh, we'll just go for the Earthquake. I know what this thing has. It has, like, uh, it, it's essentially Volcarona without Quiver Dance. It has, like, Sludge Wave, Discharge, Overheat, Fire Blast, Flamethrower, um, the, the Dance, Fiery Dance stuff like that. Is it gonna be something that can fly? Oh no, it's Cyclozar. Let me guess, a white Cyclozar? Yep. Yep, I wanted one of those, but oh well. Oh no, your Stealth Rocks did so much to me. Now I'm just gonna go for the Toxic. Because I'm Poison. Remember, Poison types can't miss Toxic, Poison Gas, or anything like that. Oh, I went for Shed Tail. Why did I go for Shed Tail? That's weird. Why is my phone vibrating like a madman? How did I just have a bunch of missed calls from the same number? Like, what? My phone didn't even go off. It's just like, voot, 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 missed call. Oh, it's gonna set up Dragonite. You know, it is oddly suspicious that his entire team happens to be, um... A Dragon-type. Or, a Shiny Dragon-type. I'm gonna have to break its sub. You know, I don't really care. You're setting up on an unaware Pokémon. Like, those boosts... I do believe what unaware does is not only does it make me ignore his, bo uh, his boosts, but when he hits me, it ignores it. Right? Man, that didn't even KO the sub. Man, that's a pain in the butt. Also, Shiny Dragonite does look better this generation compared to how it used to. Like, it's it used to be way worse than that. There's like a puke green, but come on, just break it! There we go. Wait, it still didn't break it? Why is it not broken yet? I'm so confused why this thing's not dying, like... Aha! Uh -huh. I am unaware. Now die. Finally, Jesus, man. That was annoying beyond sin. Now go for the toxic. We can toxic stall you, I don't care. I am unaware, and this is why I brought unaware Pokemon. And that is how we do it, boys. It has multi-scale, that's the issue. We need to break that multi-scale. There we go. Now we can do full damage to it, but now we can just go for the protect. My little buddy, protect yourself. It would be funny if this thing was Terra Poison, though. Wait, no, a poison type that's poisoned will stay poisoned, so never mind, it doesn't even really matter. There we go, we healed up, and now it's gonna take its poison damage. Solid. Now our attack should actually do more to it. He himself isn't gonna do, be doing any more, unless he crits. Here you go! There we go, perfect. 
We're gonna lose Google Gut in the process, but we should be able to beat this thing down to poison. I know this is not a good strategy, but it's working. It's working. Yes, come on, little buddy. Survive this. You got this, little man. I wonder if I can get the double protect. If I can get the double protect, we'll be in for a whole lot of fun. Also, my black sledge feels I feel like it's not healing me at all. Oh, it's dead next turn, so he'll lose his Pokemon. Can I get the double protect? No, I never get the double protect. Regardless, my little Google Gut's gonna go down, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. He's gonna go down, too. So who does he have left? He has Cycles are about half HP. He has Iron Moth slightly above half HP. I still have, what, three Pokemon? Yeah, I still have three Pokemon. I still have these guys. I'm gonna bring out Yamaha, my own Cyclozar. Okay, hello Cyclozar, buddy. Go Yamaha! I love how we're just, like, facing each other. Like, yeah, let's do this, buddy. Ah, they're so cute. Dragon Claw. How did it outspeed me, though? I am jolly. Unless it's a speed tie. Well, that's just an a-hole move. Like, let me just flex my, uh, my shiny Pokemon on you, man. Come on, my defensive little ball. Let's do this. Eat up any attack the stupid dragon throws at us. Come on, little buddy. Come on, little buddy. You got this, right? This is a long battle, though. Not the longest we've had. But this team, like I said, it probably wasn't going to work. Because setting up Sun without a, an actual Sun Pokemon is just time consuming. Oh, you Shed Tail. Okay. I wonder who it's switching into. Uh, Iron Moth? I'm assuming so it can set up the uh, Fiery Dance. I'm assuming that's who he's going to go into. Because why Iron Moth, which is a Pokemon I still want to use. Yeah, it's Iron Moth. He also doesn't nickname him, which is boring. All these shiny Pokemon doesn't nickname him. Still want to know if Cyclos are outsped mine, though. Uh, I can't really do anything to that Pokemon, though, so that's a pain. Um, let's see here, let's see here. What can we do? What, what can we do? What, 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 what can we do? I don't want to deal with this. I only have one little dude in the background. We gotta go for the weather ball. Oh, it's gonna tear out. Yep. You know how I could tell? Because there was a weird delay. Also, no voicemail from either of those numbers. I think it's like a 587-805-0018. I have no idea what that is. It just came out of nowhere. Oh wait, I didn't even see what type it was. Oh, it's fire. Alright. Eat it, buddy. And the animation behind the sub is just annoying. Uh, go! That did that. That just looked funny. Man, even max special attack that did not- wait, am I max special attack on this little guy? I don't even know. I don't know if I'm max special attack. That's a pain. I don't think we can win this. Like I said, people always bring like really powerful Pokemon. Also, I'm really suspicious about this guy's team. Like, I'm always concerned when they have a full shiny team. Because then it makes you really question if they're legitimate or not, you know? But oh well. Of course they had to bring the one counter to my freaking team. Well, I guess Terror Blast is all we got. And it doesn't even matter because it outspeeds me. Wait, why is it outspeeding me? Weird question, but how are all these Pokemon outspeeding me when my base speed is not only higher, but a max speed? <clears throat> The logic behind this knows no bounds, but whatever. We we lost. It it was it was just inevitable. Like this team doesn't have as good a synergy as that one team I had. 
We defeated a whole two Pokemon. Also, he seems oddly... Wait a minute. I just realized something. And I'll, I'll post it on the video if I let you guys know. That was just whatever, though. If you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. We're still giving away a, a copy of Scarlet and Violet if you guys actually subscribe. We're getting lots of views, which is nice, but people aren't clicking that sub button. So just remember, guys, click the sub button and you could win a free copy. Even if you already own a copy, you could still get another one.